It was so cold last night that the river extincher that runs through the farm has in fact began to freeze over. I think we should have a closer look now. As you can see, the ice is beginning to form on top of the moving river stincher. If you look really closely, you can see the ice forming underneath the water too. Can you see it there? The rapids are still moving, but the ice is slowly forming on the gravel banks first in the centre of the river. And as it gets colder, it's possible that it will start to spread to the edges of the river banks too. The colder the temperatures become, the more and more ice and snow is forming on top of the river. As you can see, it's beginning to trickle slower through the ice. Little Daisy is certainly enjoying exploring the frozen river. Further on, we can see how the ice has almost covered the whole of the cincher. Again, large sheets of ice forming this time from the river bank, as well as icicles coming down the river banks. Lots of ice can be seen under the water, as well as on top of the water now too. It's now so cold that almost all of the river is now covered with a thin layer of ice. And as you can see, the river is beginning to cut into the ice embankments, making exceptionally cool patterns, almost icebergs. The beautiful formations of the ice in the river are being made by the power of the river pushing itself through the ice, creating an absolutely wonderful landscape to enjoy. They're very delicate. The rapids are really pushing here, as you can see, but still the cold temperatures keep the river freezing. As the ice begins to melt in certain parts, we can see how the river landscape is almost completely frozen over now. As well as the ice that covers the river, there's also these incredibly cool icicles and formations of different ice forming carefully and slowly and over time, leaving breathtaking patterns and shapes that we can see. Isn't nature absolutely fabulous? What a joy to walk along this frozen river today. All along the river bank as well, the winter wonderland continues, giving us breathtaking views of the farm here. Seed heads become frozen and the rocks become trapped in this winter wonderland. Absolutely brilliant. The ice itself I have zoomed in on to give you an idea of how it's made up and the patterns that it can produce. The shapes of the rocks look almost odd and the icicles continue to amaze me. What wonderful shapes and colours and patterns we can see. Every direction you look along this frozen river today there's just more beauty to behold. Just beautiful. As we continue our walk along the river today, it couldn't possibly get any more beautiful. That is, until we enter the real beauty spot of the farm. It is in this wonderful frozen wonderland that we can see how the ice and snow has transformed a rather drab river bank into an absolutely breathtakingly beautiful place, changing the shapes and colours of things, turning the everyday seed heads, for example, into an absolutely beautiful sight. There's lots of different types of ice forming all around us. If we just take the time to look, we can also see footprints in the snow next to the river. Here we have some pheasant footprints. 
Here we have Farmer William's quad bike moving itself along the snow at the edge of the river. We have some dog prints from Little Daisy Dog. And these ones are Claudia the cat. And these, some deer beside the river. What a wonderful place to explore today. It's getting late now and we must head back to the farm. Through all the winter wonderland that we've explored, even frozen puddles can give us sheer joy. The landscape around us, it really is absolutely beautiful. And of course on a cold day, we get beautiful sunsets like this. What a wonderful day we've had. See you again tomorrow, boys and girls.